y'all and welcome to today's video. I bought the new Tarte Maneater Nightfall palette. I'm excited. This launched at Ulta today. I took a trip up to the store this morning and bought it. I want to test these shadows. I want to see are they pigmented? Are they easy to blend? Are they easy to work with? Can we create beautiful looks? Is this a good palette. That's what we're going to test today. That's what we're going to see. We're going to create, we're going to swatch, we're going to play. Let's jump into it. All right, y'all, I did buy this palette at my local Ulta. It is at Ulta and Tarte right now, so I will link it down below in the description box. We have that same packaging from last year. So last year, I bought the Tarte Maneater After Dark palette. So it looks like a laptop case or something, or like an iPad case. It's like this flat print. It's matte with the shiny uh, leopard spots on it, just like last year's. So let me show you last year's palette and let me show you this year's palette. So last year I was impressed with this palette from Tarte. I thought this was a really great palette from a mainstream brand. I definitely feel like the neutrals performed better than the couple of colorful shades we have in here, but this is a very warm palette and I thought it was a really pretty and interesting release from Tarte. Tarte. So this year you see we have more blues and purples. We still have some warm tones here, but definitely not as warm as this palette was. So when I saw Tarte was doing this, I was immediately intrigued. I like that we have more blues and purples in this palette. I do feel like we have more like color to pair with these neutrals. So let me pop up a close up and swatches of this palette so that you can see just how it swatches out. We do have some different textures and formulas in here. We have mattes, we have like satin formulas, we have metallics, we have shimmers. This shade right here is almost more like a gritty textured shimmer which I was really excited about. I did go ahead and swatch this palette because I wanted to see what kind of textures and things we had. But what we're gonna do with this palette is we are going to create two different eye looks because I really wanna get a feel. I wanna create maybe a neutral look and a colorful look with this palette. When I swatched this shade right here, it wasn't as like saturated and orange on the skin as it was in the pan. So I definitely wanna use this shade see how it translates on the eye. I want to play, like I said, with this kind of textured shade right here. And I really want to see how these colorful shades are going to work on the eyes as well. I'm excited about it. I love colorful makeup so, so much, but I also love neutral makeup. I just love makeup. I love playing with makeup. So, I want to test this palette out. I want to try it. I love indie makeup. Independently owned makeup brands I love. It's, I, I just love, okay? But I also like trying high-end brands, different formulas, because I know it can be a lot easier to get your hands on a brand like Tarte than maybe some of the smaller independently owned brands that I talk about. So we're gonna see, is this palette any good? Is it amazing? Is it spectacular? We're gonna play with it. Like I said, I went to Ulta. I bought it this morning. I'm gonna put down an eyeshadow primer. I'm gonna zoom y'all in nice and close. Everything I talk about today, I will link in the description box. Some of those links may be affiliated. So definitely check the description box if you're looking for more information. But I just cannot wait to put this on my eyes. So I'm gonna push my hair out of my face, put down eyeshadow primer, and we're gonna play. Okay, so I'm really, really curious how this palette is going to perform with these blue shades. I am very hopeful that we're going to have really great formulas. So to give this palette, like, the best start it can have, I've got down my Sigma Ignite eyeshadow base, and I want to start with our deep, dark mattes first. So I'm going to start first with After Dark. I'm going to pack on this navy blue right onto my primer, and then I'm going to pack on Passionate onto my lower lash line. That way we can see how the pigment is, and we'll know. Like, it's going right on top of my favorite eyeshadow primer, 
and we're gonna see how pigmented and easy to work with these two matte shades are. Okay, I've got that navy shade picked up on my blinged brush. I believe this brush is from their rose gold set. Um, so I'm going to make sure I don't have any creases in my primer. This is an Unearthly Cosmetics brush from their orange brush set. I'm just making sure I don't have any creases and I'm going to put down this navy shade. So I'm going to tap it all in my socket to start with. Just tapping that shadow right onto the primer all in the socket. No blending yet, just tapping. And we are going to do two different eye looks today because I really just want to want to see how these shades perform. I want to play with it. So I'm going to just make sure I get this shade. This is called After Dark right onto my socket like this. I'll go and I'll blend more in just a bit. I'm not worried about blending really right now. I'm just getting that shadow down. And I'm going to also stamp this right here on the lid in the outer corner so that I can have a matte, deep, dark, navy outer corner. I'm going to leave the shadow like this. I know it is not blended. Trust the process. Trust the process. I am pretty pleased with how pigmented that is. I think that's looking nice so far. I'm not having any patchiness or any weird areas. So far, so good. Okay, I'm taking a brush from my Sigma set and I've got the shade Passionate. I did put down some of my Sigma Ignite eye primer on my lower lash line. Again, I really want to test how these shadows perform. So I'm going to press this on like this and then I can blend in a minute. But right now I want to make sure I have some pigment and yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting it to show up. I know I'm bringing it down quite low but that's because we are going for the drama today. Okay, now I want to kind of buff out this blue shade. I'm gonna use this kind of light pale gray, and I'm also going to use Vixen on the lower lash line so we can kind of use those. But before I go in with these two, we're gonna dip a little bit into this matte shade right here. It's a matte that has a little bit of sparkle called Captivate. Okay, so I'm taking Captivate on another one of my Sigma brushes, and I'm going to use this maybe to blend out, there we go, there's some pigment, right out here where I have the navy that comes out and around to meet that purple. I just wanna pull in a little of this shade right here to kind of bring that up without it being too overpowering. I'm just gonna take my time and lightly blend. I know it doesn't look super blended right now. Trust the process though, we're gonna get there. We are going to get there. I'm just slowly, slowly working this around and then we're gonna go into that pale gray. Okay, so I've got that shade Pounce, and I'm going to blend this right above that navy and then down into just the edges to kind of soften that up all the way out here, kind of all around where I put my shades down. And this is a very fluffy brush. Again, it's one from a Sigma set. I'll have everything in the description box. And I'm just gonna use this to soften and blend. So we're working from our darkest shade to our light shades when it comes to our mattes, just 
like I said, to make sure we get the most pigment out of this palette. And I'm just going to take my time back and forth. Okay, now I've got that shade Vixen on one of my blinged brushes. This is just from their, like, I think it's their Icy Set, Ice Queen, something like that. And I'm going to use that right under our purple just to give us some more dimension. So we have that purple fade to that more kind of light mauve tone. I definitely should have taken my eye primer down a little lower, but I think this palette so far is performing well. I think that's looking pretty, pretty nice. So let me, actually let me blend just a little bit more, but let me um, put down a little bit of glitter primer adhesive. I'm testing one out right now from um, a new indie brand. You know we love an independently owned brand. Um, but where is it? Where is it? Let me find it. And we're going to go in with a shimmer. I kind of want to do two shimmers on the lid, one in the center and then one on the inner corner, leaving the outer corner matte. So looking at this palette, let's do it. Let's just continue this blue sharing all around. We will use Mysterious we will use wild and then we will use nine lives. So all of our blue shimmers and this formula looked really, really beautiful. When I swatched it, it looked like it had some pretty reflect, whereas these looked to be more of like a wet formula. So let me find what I'm looking for. We will put down that adhesive and then we will go in with our shimmer, beautiful shades. Here's what I'm going to use. This is the Dual Cast Mixing Medium from Enco. I heard about this brand from my friend Amanda. So I will link this website down below because the way I've used it, I'm, I'm still testing this. I've only used it a handful of times, but you can like put it down on your lid and then put your uh, shadow down on top, kind of like a glitter glue, mixing medium, something like that. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this down and then we'll go in with our metallic sparkle shadows. Okay, so I'm pressing that blue shadow on with a green brush from Unearthly Cosmetics. Isn't that pretty? Oh, okay. Okay, Tarte. The mattes did fine. Like the mattes, they look good. Okay, they do. They look good but a metallic, come on now, a metallic, look at that shine, look at that sparkle, good job, tart. Okay, so that deeper blue is called Mysterious, now I'm going in with the shade Wild. So this one is definitely more of a metallic, whereas that shade Mysterious is more of a shimmer with pretty sparkle. This one looks more like smooth and wet. Again, another unearthly brush from their green set. That's so pretty. Oh, I'm so pleased with that. That is making me happy. I'm going to see, I feel like right here, the shadow isn't looking quite like I would like this matte right here. Now I do kind of have a shadow you can see just from like my bones, <laughs> my bone structure. But I feel like this could look a little more blended. There, there we go. That's helping. That's helping. Last but not least, another blinged brush. And I'm taking that shade called Nine Lives. This is an icy baby blue really pretty going to just kind of blend that in to my inner corner right there keeping this blue look blue you know like the blue is bluing okay I'm into that I am gonna see if I can add a little more purple 
There we go. Just kind of adding another layer of that shadow. I'm going to do liner and lashes later, but first I want to do eye look number two. I want to play with the more neutral leaning tones in this palette. I want to play with that orangey shade that I said, you know, wasn't as like deep on the skin as it was in the pan. I want to try it on top of my eyeshadow primer. So I'm going to wipe away the little bit of fallout I have, but I think this eye look it looks good. It looks good. I'm happy with it. So let me throw down my eye primer. And when I do that, we will kind of work not darkest to lightest. We'll work like with our mid-tones or light shades first, and then we'll go dark. So I think what I'll do is start with the orange shade, the shade Smolder. But let me throw down. I'm going to use my same Sigma primer over here. Okay, eye primer is on, and I'm going straight in with that mid-tone orangey shade. That's pretty. Okay, that is looking so nice on the eyes. See, this is why I say swatches don't tell the whole story and why most of the time I wait until after I've tested the palette to swatch because the swatch did not look as saturated, but for the most part, that this is how I am using my shadows. Swatches are fun, but what I really care about is how they are on the eyes. And I do feel like that is looking a little better. Not that it swatched badly or anything, but I do feel like when I swatched it, it came off a little lighter than this. So I am pleasantly surprised. We're starting with our mid-tone shade, just bringing it all kind of in the socket, above the socket, below the socket, just really blending with my blinged brush. Okay, now we are going to go in with our darker shade. We're going to go in with Tease, this dark brown matte. Then we are going to go in with Ferocious, this more mid-tone brown shade. So I've got another blinged brush. I mean, anytime you see like these super sparkly like rhinestone handle brushes it's bling to brush so i'm gonna put it right down here on the lid and then i'm going to bring it up kind of layered on top of that orange to deepen up our outer corner and i'm just going to blend i am impressed with how that is going on top of our other matte shade so I'm just gonna take my time and make sure we have this nice deep and dark in our outer corner I'll go back and I can blend more in a minute I'm just kind of building the shadow up a little bit right there so that it's how I like it and then I'm going to put that lighter brown on the lower lash line Okay, so I've got that on a Sigma brush, and I'm just going to put that on my lower lash line like so, blending it back and forth, making sure I don't have any like patchiness, anything like that. Stamping it on, then blending pretty I expected this look to be good because I do think it's a little easier to blend neutral shades right because I'm blending neutral shades into my skin tone whereas I'm blending blues into my skin tone over here you know so I figured this look would come together a little easier over here we were able to use I think eight shadows so I would like to do the same thing over here because I'm not going to be able to test every shade in the palette today but I would like to try as many as possible. Okay I'm going to dip into these two matte shades right here Sly and Catnap. I'm going to start off with the shade Sly on this really fluffy whoops I almost put it over here no I am going to use this really fluffy brush from my Sigma set and I'm going to kind of buff out along the edges of that more orange shade, keeping this look way lighter than our other look. 
And then I'm going to wipe my brush off on my Sigma Switch and go into Catnap. And I'm going to use this to buff along this outer portion of my under eye and the lower lash line. So just bringing it down around under, blending, blending, blending. And once I have that done, I'm gonna go back to the brush I used for the dark brown and make sure I have a nice blend before we go in with our shimmer shades, which I'm very excited to do. I'm just gonna pick up a little more of that orangey shade Make sure we don't lose this and everything's nice and blended. Okay, so I want to use three shimmers. I really want to use this gold shade, Desirable. It has, like, it feels like a different texture to me than the other shades. So I really want to use this one. I think we'll go this one on the center of the lid. This is Sizzle. And then we'll finish off with this bright shade right up here. I do really like that this palette has light shimmers and light mattes. I think that's really cool. We have some deeper mattes and deeper shimmers. So I do like that as well. So let me put down my little dual cast. And we're going to do what we did on this eye. So shimmer, shimmer, and then third shimmer on the inner corner. Okay, the shade Sizzle is going right in the center of my lid. I am spraying my brush after I pick up my shimmers to give me intensity that I like on top of that dual cast. So I'm just going to press that on the center. That looks pretty. Beautiful little neutral shimmer shade. Okay, I've got that shade Desirable. And I really want to put that right here. It almost feels like a more flaky shade, but I think it looks really cool. It has a very interesting texture, kind of different than the other shadows. Yeah, that's pretty. Okay, let me pick up, last but not least, we'll go in with the shade, what was that called? Fascinate. Okay, I've got Fascinate. I'm going to press that right on the inner corner that's pretty it's got like a little bit of like a pinky champagne to it i'm gonna wipe away any fallout i am gonna throw on liner and a false lash but here we have our blue look here we have our more neutral look i'm gonna see if i need to do any more blending and i will be right back all right, y'all, here we have the finished look. I just threw on black eyeliner and a lash to complete both of these looks. I would love to know, are you a more colorful shadow wearer or do you prefer your neutral shades? I would love to hear from you. Let's talk about this palette because I really had a great time with this palette. I think for a mainstream brand like Tarte, especially for a palette that's sold in stores like Ulta. I think this is really, really great. I actually use my Ulta points on this. So that's always a bonus when you can use a coupon points, things like that. So this palette from Tarte, I think is really beautiful. I I showed you side by side this in the Maneater palette that launched the same time last year. I actually checked on YouTube and that one actually dropped just two days before this one dropped today. So I would really like to see another palette like this from Tarte next year. Maybe something with some grays. Even though I'm not the biggest fan of cool tones, I like cool tones, but if I'm going for neutrals, I do prefer more warms. But I think with the palette from last year, this palette, I think a palette with some cool tone, maybe taupes and grays would be beautiful. And then maybe some really beautiful like purpley tones would be nice. Maybe we'll see that next year. We'll see. I do think this packaging, even though I say it looks like an iPad case, I think it's nice. It's slim. It's compact. It feels really nice. It's got the hard top. It's got the mirror. You can kind of stand it up if you want to take this like on a trip with you, something like that. 
I, I enjoyed it. I have not used every shade on my eyes. So of course, after I do that, I will put this in a review video, let you know kind of my follow-up thoughts. But so far, so good. I think both of my looks really really into them. I didn't have a hard time with these at all. Now I do want to give you another alternative. I know I showed you side by side with the Tarte palette from last year, but if your makeup preferences are more like mine, you like supporting indie brands, you like multi-chromes, but you're loving this color story, I immediately, when I saw this palette, thought of my Sun and the Sea palette from Bella Beauté Bar. So we do have the beautiful warm browns, we do have the blues, we do have some purple, but instead of the shimmers and metallics that you get here in Tarte, we have multi-chromes, we have shimmers, we have duo-chromes, we have really, really special shades. I do have a video with this palette if you want to check it out, but... I know that it can be nice and convenient to go to Ulta or go to the Tarte site and buy a more mainstream palette. So I wanted to buy this because I was intrigued. Like I said, I think the quality in here is really, really nice. I like that we have light and dark shades and I think these like metallics looks so nice. I'm very, very happy with my blue look. Yeah, I'm happy. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope maybe it was helpful to you. Even if you're on a low buy or no buy, maybe you can shop your stash, recreate these looks, something like that. I just hope you had a good time hanging out. Please do subscribe. I have lots of videos coming this week. I hope you're having an amazing day and I will see you very soon in another one. Bye.